Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. I'm breaking the law today, and all of you watching are accomplices. How am I breaking the law? Well, today I'm going to rip this 2018 Stadium Club retail box, and as you can see right here on the box, $2.99 a pack, do not sell as a full box. Well, I got it as a full box, and I only paid $34. If I was to pay retail, that'd be $71.76 before tax. So a heck of a deal. I've got the Lucky Cup ready, and I'm utilizing two new things today. Got a piece of lighting in a new area to see if I can brighten it up a little bit. Uh, and I'm utilizing the Premiere function for the second time. So I'm probably live chatting with you right now as we watch this, and I'm hoping, since we're all together, that that's where we're going to get the luck. Uh, as you can see, Donnie Baseball is very excited in the on-deck circle, and Babe Ruth, he's enamored by the box. Uh, so let's get right into it. It's 24 packs, 5 cards per pack. I ripped a fair bit of it last year and barely scratched the surface of some of the really cool stuff you could get out of it. So I'm looking for a good time. Last time, we utilized the Premier function. We had a blast, but it was just a blaster box, and so it wasn't a very long episode. Uh, and we discovered that the live chat cuts off after about a minute after the episode ends. So this should be a little bit of a longer video, and hopefully we can chat a little bit about all the good stuff going on in Major League Baseball right now, and maybe together we'll pull a monster here from the third base side of Shenanigans Park. All right, I'm excited. This was a really fun product. Uh, beautiful photography. I uh, talked a lot about it during uh, when its re release was, and uh, so you know I'm a fan. But like I said, barely scratched the surface in terms of really cool inserts. Uh, never pulled an auto or a redemption or anything like that, so I'm hoping that we might get that kind of good fortune. I don't know if I ever pulled this card, because that is a great photo, and I feel like I would remember it. Mm, nice Giancarlo. Hopefully he's on the comeback. Beautiful Cal Ripken. Chris Sale just getting lit up this year. Jay Bruce, all right. So like I said, it shouldn't be too terribly long, but it is 24 packs. Uh, and I was watching uh, the, the fine folks at Up North Collectors, and uh, they ripped a little uh, Stadium Club retail, and I knew I was going to do this uh, eventually. And so I thought, now's as good a time as any. Nice Arenado, Cano. Retail is always interesting. Um, I like to think that Tops wants you to hit something. So if you're a young kid and you're going into your local card shop and you're buying a retail pack, you know, the odds have to be there in some way for you to get something. It can't all just be hobby boxes or blasters. Um, but that said, I ripped two retail boxes of Allen and Ginter and basically got the same relic in both boxes. No autos, no redemptions, no nothing. So, I mean, we roll the dice and we see what we get. But there's a nice one. Otani Special Forces. Josh Donaldson raking. That's why he's up there on the first base porch. Nice Otani Special Forces. Uh, I'm hoping to pull a lot of cool stuff like this so that I can add them to spoils packs. As always, check the description below. For the link to the Clary's Goldberg Scholarship Pledges Get Cards. We'll be showing some ready-made spoils packs in the near future. Nice throwback uni on Tyler Molly there. Very cool. I don't know if I've seen this card either. Maybe it's just been so long I forgot, but... Nice! Kaboom! Red parallel. Derek Jeter never compromise. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's because we're all together in the live chat room, plus Gardy. That's a nice one. Gosh, I don't think I've seen this one either. Great photo. That's hot right there. Let's get another little stand back here and uh, make it an official quality pull. There we go, Captain. Number two, Derek Cheetah. Love it. That was great. I, I pulled a Never Compromise Red Parallel Aaron Judge, and as I was just sort of going through my binder the other day, noticed it was red, so I didn't even notice it was red before. Um, so that was a nice hit for me and the PC. But these are, uh, that's what I'm, I'm, now that I have a better understanding, I'm on the lookout for red parallels, black parallels here, red parallels there. Definitely didn't pull this. Wow, this is really a good box so far. 
Did not pull this card in all the stuff I ripped. You got Judge there, Didi. He doesn't like being called Red Thunder, but uh, he was the Thunder for a while before he rolled his ankle. But hopefully he'll uh, be all right. Ooh, and I don't think I pulled any Stadium Club Chrome. Wow, I've pulled more out of these couple packs than I have in all the blasters I did before. So there you go, kids. The retail boxes, at least for some of these. We haven't pulled not or anything, but good stuff. That's a beautiful photo. That's why I'm sort of just holding on it for a second. Oh, and it's a Yankee. Nice for the PC. Wow, that is really sharp. Interesting the way it has this, like, texture, but it's flat. I mean, it's chrome. There doesn't have any texture to the touch, but it looks like it does underneath. I wonder if it was, like, textured and then they put the gloss on it. Very interesting. I'm not sure. Very cool card. Wow, we are off to the races with some quality, quality pulls already. Might have to do this more often if I can get good deals on some retail boxes. Uh, the way I looked at it, you know, it was 34 bucks. I mean, that's like not even two blasters. Even if I got a good deal on a sale somewhere. Big unit. And I've already seen a bu bunch of cards here that I did not see when I was ripping. Uh, the, the, the blasters and stuff. And I'm pretty sure I only ripped blasters. Maybe a couple fat packs. I think there might even still be a fat pack in Pick a Pack of, of 2018 Stadium Club. Oh, yeah. Did not. Oh, and I see a green or. What is, oh, just grass. Okay. Woo. Got, got my heart racing there for a second. That is a beauty. Did not pull this. Pulled a few of these uh, kind of retro photo Hall of Famers. Jackie Robinson a couple times, which is a beautiful card. Uh, but definitely didn't pull this. I don't think they really do short prints per se. And the code is 231, 230. Yeah, I don't think there's really much in the way of variation in that respect. Great shot. There we go. There's a black parallel. Strasburg. So that's what uh, now my eyes are... Uh, more accustomed. I've watched some breaks. I've broken enough to know that there's all these variations just here uh, and the red for things like Never Compromise. So nice. Oh, I better put that over here just because it might be great. Even though McCullers is, I don't know where McCullers is, right? Is he even signed anywhere? I know Keichel still isn't and uh, who was the other, the other, was it McCullers? Uh, the, the other Astros pitcher. That isn't signed. I don't know what they're waiting for, but it feels like, you know, the NBA where a guy just waits and waits, or the NFL even, they just wait and wait and wait, and then maybe they sign later. Ooh, nice Reese Hoskins. You got here, Josh Bell. I pulled, I did pull a purple Josh Bell. I put it in a pir uh, Pirate Spoils pack that I'll be showing off. So if you're a Pirates fan, there is a Spoils pack ready to go. Nice. The heart and soul of the Phillies, according to... The manager might have to try to make him part of the all-Jewish team this year, Gabe Kapler. Probably the only Jewish manager in the big leagues would be my guess. Come on, Pac. Don't give me a hard time. Got to be delicate. You never know. Like That pack could be the one with like the Otani autograph or something in it. As I say that, I'm sort of kicking myself that I don't have my Miguel and Duhar autograph uh, on display that I received as a gift from, like, oh, very kind of him. Didi uh, is on the mend. He may even come back uh, late this year. Manuel, uh, as he goes by this year, Manuel Margot. Fernando Tatis Jr. had a really painful-looking... Injury. Uh, we'll see how that goes. He did the full-on splits. And they said it was a hamstring, but I don't know how you pull a hamstring doing the full-on splits like that. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, look at that. A little B-harp, red something. Wow, this is pretty good retail box. I'll tell you what. For 34 bucks, this is going to be great for spoils packs. Red beam team. I don't think they number these, uh, as far as I know. 
the hardest ball has been measured to have hit was 116.3. Wow. Off Gio Gonzalez, who signed with the Yankees and then got released and then re-signed with the Brewers. Interesting. Very nice. Uh, I imagine there's some Philly fans out there that might want to jump on that as well as back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We've had some great Phillies, some great Yankees, a little Otani. Let's keep it going here. The Lucky Cup strikes, even though we're not even, like, halfway through the box. Did I pull it? Yeah, so I was going to see if we could notice any differences, but all right. So these are both... Well, that looks black and that looks blue. So I don't know if that is a blue parallel or not, or maybe it's a black parallel. So if we're all watching together in the live chat and you have the answer, let me know while I wet my whistle. A little club soda with a splash of lemonade, one of my favorites. Maybe after this one. Glass now is hurling another Otani insert rookie. How about that? How about that? Mel Allen, everybody. Young young kids, go Google Mel Allen and treat yourself. Glass now is hurling. He is with the Rays and he is looking good. Five and oh, I believe. I do have a relic from Allen and Ginter 2017 of Glass Now with the Pirates. So that was a early hit once I got back into the hobby. Not sure what to do with it yet, if it's going to go in a spoils pack or not. Doc Gooden. Red Sandy Koufax Cobb! Boom! What? That is awesome. Let's get a good look at that, baby. Wow. This has been so much better than my blasters, and I pulled some okay stuff out of the blasters, but not this many color parallels, not this many insert uh, of Otani, and definitely no Jeters. But Koufax Red, that is awesome. That is awesome. Let's take a look at the pack here and check our odds quickly, because I want to know if that Special Forces is red or the never compromises like yeah let's see here red foil base is one in seven gold minted Ooh, that'd be pretty cool pull uh, never compromise insert red one in a hundred and ninety two packs okay so that's not too shabby and Special Forces Red, one in 192 packs. Well, all right. So, so far we've pulled two cards that are both one in 192 packs. Oh, let's check Beam Team. Does it tell us? I'm trying to look at a Power Zone. I, I'm not, I see Special Forces going. Why did I, I, did I miss it or what? I don't even see Beam Team on here. Unless I'm just missing it. I'm try, I was trying to like skim read it and then I'm going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and wasting time. But, uh, wow, all right, so we are, we're rolling. We are definitely rolling with some nice inserts. Try to pick up the pace just a little bit because we're already at 14 minutes, but hopefully that's giving us a lot of fun in the live chat. I'm sure, uh, or hopefully, a number of the usual suspects are all hanging out together. Power Zone Nelson Cruz. Nice Matsui.
nice and Aaron Nola. And an orange. I don't know if they call that sepia. A camera, I, I, I did look into that before. I guess that would just be base. Black rainbow, first day, members only, proof, base chrome. Orange, oh, there's the beam team, one in 24, and red, one in 192 packs. Orange is one in 2,078 packs. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, our odds are either much stronger than that, or this is just a really, really fun box to break. Uh, and sometimes you get those boxes that are just a fun rip. We'll see if maybe it gets even more fun by pulling some sort of hot autograph or something. But I feel like maybe we've used our luck. <laughs> or maybe it's the kind of thing that if you're in your LCS and you're looking at retail boxes, you want to grab those first packs. You want to grab those packs at the top. <laughs> or someone go back and watch this and count which packs have the hot hits. And then we'll remember to just, just open those when you go into your LCS. Nice Barry Larkin. Got some of those in a Red Spoils pack. The Tad Father. We have Ichiro. Finally retired Ichiro at the young age of 59. That's a joke. He's not really 59. Miggy. He's, he came back from a really tough injury, a bicep tear. Oh, yeah. Nice. All rise. With J.D. Martinez behind him. Definitely didn't pull that in my uh, other boxes. This is a super fun box. Super fun box. Again, not sure if that's blue. Okay, so... Both of these are blue, which leads me to believe that's the, the base. Okay. That would make sense. It would be crazy if they weren't, if they were both special in that in that respect. I'm just trying to gauge, uh, take a quick glance again. And if I was reading in order, a special forces went black. Red. Okay, yeah. So there is no blue. You get red, black, or orange, or gold rainbow. All right. So blue is our base. But we did get two reds. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. We'll take that. Getting near the end here. Only got, looks like about maybe four packs to go. Marietta called out uh, B Harp the other day. Another never compromise red variation. Unless I'm wrong that red was a variation on that. We got here. Oh, only three packs to go. Okay. Get our box out of the way. Might reuse that box for something fun. I'm not sure. Never compromise. I don't know. You think I'd have it memorized by now that I'm just, again, looking at the odds. I will have to go back, but maybe that never compromise red is the normal color. It'd be, it would be crazy to pull that many of the variations. And I see, you know, red foil, as I'm just looking quickly at it, is one thing, but yeah, red. Okay. I wasn't wrong the first time. <laughs> nice Barrios. I did pull a red foil of uh, Go Goihara. Another Aaron Judge. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I hope that... Uh, I really have not heard much about his injury lately. Uh, I've seen him in the dugout, but I don't know if he is on the quick mend or if it's going to be a while or what. Maybe they just don't want to tell us. But the Yankees are the walking wounded, and they just keep on picking up W's. And I'm fine with that, although I do miss watching the superstars. 
And I'm hoping Miggy might be back this week, this first week of May. Sanchez pulled a red foil of Gary Sanchez, too, in my retail, or in the blaster boxes. That's a cool Dexter Fowler card. I mean, he's like barely in the, in the card, but uh, a great shot. Those wide angle shots are really, really cool. All right, last two. So the odds of pulling an auto is pretty rare, I would guess. But there's that Jackie Robinson. This has been a really solid retail box, I would say, especially for the Yankee PC. Really quality pulls. Not base-wise, still have never pulled the Frank Thomas base out of this, which is just a beautiful-looking card, and I really wanted to pull it. But there's a beauty of a Jackie Robinson again. My man Jack Flaherty. I do have a couple of these, and he was hurling. He is also doing very well. He had the other day like 10Ks or something like that. All right, last pack. We'll do a quick recap, just because we did pull some straight fire. Some straight fire. Awesome, Johnny Bench. Pulled a black foil Zach Davies that went in this way. Definitely didn't pull Yelich either, so there's Yelich. Benintendi and DeGrom. Cool looking Yelich. Just a simple, that looks like almost like spring training maybe, but eh, no, that's probably regular season. But hadn't pulled that, I don't think. Nice. And a nice stack here of cards that are going to go in the spoils packs and things. Not too bad. We'll take that. Let's take a quick recap gander. Some of the fun stuff we pulled. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope we all said genius witty things or are saying them right now in the live chat. Ooh, so many gods. So many beautiful gods. That's just a really cool... It looks neat, shines really nicely. Very nice. Two judges. Two judge inserts. I mean, I'll take that all day. Beauty. Very cool. For me, this might be the hit of the box. I mean, that Jeter's pretty nice, but this is just such a cool photo. It's Sandy Koufax. I mean, just awesome. Just awesome. And as another, you know, the greatest Jewish pitcher of all time. 6'2", 210. That's a big Jew. It's like Hank Greenberg big. Two really sharp Otanis. That's a great Flair Frazier. Tanaka Chrome. I forgot that there even was Stadium Club Chrome. So when I saw this, that was just surprised. They definitely make... That's a tough thing to pull, the Stadium Club Chrome. Well, I don't close it out. With the captain, Derek Jeter, number two. Derek Jeter, number two. Love it. That was great. Well, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought if you're watching this in the future and not live with us in the chat room. Would love to hear your thoughts because I thought it was a really strong box overall. Kind of shockingly strong uh, for a retail box that I got for basically half the price. Uh, so looking forward to your thoughts. Again, if you saw cards you liked and you want them, they can be yours. Just check that description for the link to the Clary Goldberg Scholarship and we'll work it out. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.